Hello and welcome to today's video on the new Hager Type B HP for heat pumps. Uh, I'm Mark Kimberley, a residential market manager, and I've got Paul Chappers, the technical training manager. Um, and yeah, we're here to talk to you about this new device. So how does the Type B HP fit into the range of RCBs already out there, Paul? Well, I think most of the customers understand that we have four existing types, Type AC, Type A, Type F, and Type B but it's only the type B that can deal with smooth DC faults. Now, because of the type of appliance that a heat pump is, the inverter, it's possible that we could have those smooth DC currents. So straight away, we need a type B, but there's a problem with standard type B because it only goes up to one kilohertz. Yeah, and that's the great thing with this new device. It goes greater than 20 kilohertz. So it's really suited to those heat pump applications. Um, some of the questions we get asked, Paul, is, is there any requirements in BS7671 for RCDs for heat pumps? Well, this is really tricky because there's not. It's just classed as an appliance. Now, we do have special measures in our part 7. So we have a 712, which deals with solar PV. And we have a 722, which deals with electric vehicles. But there's nothing for heat pumps. So it can be a bit tricky. We have our general requirements that when you choose an RCD, you should choose the correct type. But... There's nothing else for heat pumps. Well, some people say, I can design the RCD out of the installation. Can you actually do that for heat pumps? Well, it's tricky, really. And I understand why people feel that, because there are ways that we can get around using an RCD, depending on the earthing, earthing system, obviously, but there might be um, using mechanical protection or surface-mounted cabling, SWA cables. But for heat pumps, it's really tricky. What we need to do is we need to understand that there is a standard for heat pumps and that standard deals with the do's and the don'ts of what you should do with heat pumps. It's a safety standard. It's household and similar electrical appliances safety. Part 240 deals with electrical heat pumps. Now within that standard, it says that 30 milliamp RCDs is advisable. Some people would say in that standard though, it says that's only applicable for general public. BS 7671 general public isn't residential. Does that apply to the heat pump safety standard? Not at all, because we're looking at the scope of the heat pump standard. And within that standard, residential, household, gardens, all falls within that standard. So where it says that uh, RCD is advisable, the heat pump manufacturer should include that in their literature and data. And we're starting to see that, aren't we? Yeah, we are. And, you know, some heat pumps out there are asking for kilohertz, above 20 kilohertz. Uh, our device is suited to that. But some people would say, does this, when it has a minimum tripping threshold of 150 milliamps and 20 kilohertz, still protect you like a 30 milliamp RC? It does. But to understand this, we need to look at the standard BSIEC 60479-2. Okay, and it's part two of that standard that deals with the effects of current on human beings at those higher frequencies. It sounds complicated, Paul. Well, it is, but we've made it nice and simple for our customers, and we've got a simple graph here which shows the ventricular fibrillation threshold from the standard, which is the red line, and it shows you the indicative characteristics of the Type B HP device. So as you can see that at 50 hertz, the body can take 30 milliamps, at 20 kilohertz, it could take way more. And that's what the red line's doing. And our device sits on the safe side of that line. It doesn't go near the danger zone, but it sits up there a little bit, allowing those characteristics of the heat pump to work without any nuisance tripping, making it the ideal choice for heat pump applications. Now, there is devices out there called B+. Could we install a B plus device for a heat pump installation? Well, type B plus is a German VD standard, okay? And it's not recognized by BS7671. Um, and it doesn't have an international harmonized standard. So there's not many designers out there that would want to go down that route because they would have to justify the, why they took that decision and have all the literature and all the stuff to demonstrate that it was suitable, okay? So really and truthfully, most customers would rather install something that was recognised here in the UK with the wiring regulations. So just to round that up then, the uh, the new Hager Type B HP, be great for heat pump installations, it can stop nuisance tripping, 
make sure the homeowner has still got that heated on. Uh, so hopefully, you know, we've now launched it um, and we can really solve some of those problems in the market. Absolutely.